Wow, okay. Um, so, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm going to put you there because the lighting in my room is so bad. Like, the one lamp the landlord kindly gave me there, that little thing. That little thing there. It does nothing. I literally have to use that. Plus, I don't know if you can see the little light where that little light there is what is this oh, it's the, no, it's hold on. the light there is the one also that came with the room it's in the wall i had to get that lamp and i have one that's behind my camera there or well, my phone like there on top of my textbooks and like i had to turn all three on to actually see once it's dark it's winter now so obviously it gets dark at like 2 p.m which is annoying but and it's definitely cold as well which doesn't make it better like walking back from campus hey I'm gonna, I wasn't going to, but then my friend Jamie said I should vlog me making my Christmas ball dress. This is a bag of material right now. And these, oh my gosh. Okay, so that completely came off. These are lights. They're, I love the color. It's like a blue white, a cool white, but like it's blue, which is so pretty. But I'm putting them, hopefully, if all goes well, they should be in the dress. Well, at least in the skirt. I'm doing, basically, it's going to be a gown. I'm going to put it here. It's going to be a gown, um, obviously, and it's going to be slit on my right leg. Slit on my right leg, but obviously it looked like my left leg um, from, like, opposite. And a detachable skirt of which I'm gonna put the lights in so I can take that off and then it's just gonna be a blue satin gown with hopefully a mesh bodice piece but I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do that because I know it's gonna be really hard and I have never done it before and I don't want to like do anything too wild in case it flops but we'll see like worst comes to worst I just do a satin top and put the mesh on top of that like I've got a lot of mesh to to play around with and like worst comes to worst I'll just go back to the store and buy some more I thought I'd just like introduce the dress, um, it's gonna be blue. I don't know if you guys saw, I'm going for like a Cinderella-ish idea. The theme for the ball is uh, blue, white, and black. So I went with blue, cause I don't know why, but I just really wanted to wear blue. I feel like it's cause I've done a black dress before and a white one would look too much like a wedding dress. So I didn't bother with that. But yeah, it's the university Christmas ball. But I'm really excited to go. I've never been to the Christmas ball. The only ball I've been to at uni was the ACS ball last well in may so last academic year because it's my second academic year um so yeah i'm gonna love it but yeah i'm gonna start making the dress <laughs> so um i've just threaded my machine here is the pretty girl um because I had black thread in it because of the... When I was making the boy group costume, so obviously it was black. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to test the thread using my good old silk that I just used to practice on. And then I'm basically going to be working on the skirt, the detachable skirt. I think, if I'm bad, I could actually get it done today. I don't think it will take that long, but I know that sewing the lights on is going to take a long periodically time. If it works, it's gonna be so pretty. So everyone pray that it works. And that's a very sick bed. Oh. <laughs> Help me upload my YouTube channel video. My YouTube video. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going somewhere. Is this for the YouTube? Yeah, for the dress vlog. So you're going to be there. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First housemate. First housemate. First housemate. So basically, I've done the skirt. Well, I'm a true liar. I haven't done the skirt, but I've cut out the material, pinned it, 
um, tease the top so it's all like ruffled as you can see and I've done the outer li outer layer, wow, outer layer, the science student jumped out of which I am not anymore. So it's now day two of this dress and I've done, I've like marked out the netting, I've pinned on top the chiffon, I'm calling it chiffon, I know damn well it's not chiffon but I'm calling it chiffon, okay? Okay, so I've marked all the chiffon. I've like not sewn them together, but just layered them on top of each other with some pins. And I've like started pinning the lights. I was going to sew them, but I don't think I can physically be bothered. So I'm going to try and glue them. Um, and if the glue doesn't work, then we have to sew and that's going to take a bloody long time. But I've just pinned it in and like that's the rest there. I'm going to go on my bed, it's so messy. Um, but yeah, I can show you guys a little bit. It looks better in the dark, but obviously it's definitely daylight. But you can see how they come through under the dress. So yeah. <laughs> So, um, I've made my room darker because I've finished pinning the lights to see if it like fits the shape whatever. So now that I know the skirt works well, I can remove the trimmy button, which is, wait, which is brighter, the trimmy button or the outside? So this is the trimmy button. And then this, where is it? This is the external pack. Oh, I think the trimmy button is, the trimmy button is brittle. So I need to get fresh batteries. But I'm just gonna, normally I do it in my red sketchbook. Oh, I found it. I was about to say I can't find it, so I have to go on paper. But I have a red sketchbook. And so I have two sketchbooks. I have a red sketchbook. And I have a black one. The bleh, 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 bleh. You get me? The black sketchbook is the one that I normally use when I have like a final design. This, which was the design for my ACS ball gown last year. It's a small red one. And this one has got all sorts of nonsense. Like, this was the measurements and construction notes for the. For my prom dress, my sixth form prom dress. So when I was 18, um, so I thought, yeah, all measurements and stuff. Because obviously I make my own dress patterns and then buy them because that's expensive. Um, but yeah, but I need to work out how I want to do the skirt. So I'm just gonna make some notes and I'm gonna do that now while I have my bowl of porridge. Flavor. Yeah, let well, me do that now. So. It's just because it's like dangling and to cut the loose threads there. But just because it's dangling like that, but once it's like placed on properly and ironed out, it'll be fine. I think I might still put a diamond on there. To be honest, but yeah, this is the pocket done basically. So I'm gonna go and do the rest of this now. The belt, I'm gonna cut out the belt and then pin on the skirt. And oh, Lord, I'm tired, is enough. Oh my 
guys, this is so sad. This is so sad. I'm literally crying with him. But it's like, how long time is it? It's flipping like after 11 o'clock. As well as all of that, the dress is just finished. Well, I'm alive. The skirt's finished. It's completely finished. I decided in the end to have the bow in front. And something went wrong. Something class. The Essex jumped out. Something went wrong when I was sewing, and one like thing is longer than the other, so the bow is slightly like it's much cool, but I don't really care. Don't really mind. Like I said, I've gotten to the point where I don't really care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. And then also, I don't know how or why, but the back pocket is not in the middle of this of the belt. But I've done it on the outside because it's just easier to deal with. But yeah, it's definitely just not in the middle. But again, is it four? Don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Well, that's just been pinned. I haven't got around to gluing them yet, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. And yeah, it's just. I'm too gas. I actually feel like, 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 like Cinderella, like. Oh no, it's midnight. Oh, one second, let me fix it so I don't, don't kill myself. <laughs> oh no, it's midnight. <laughs> and then my shoe falls down. Well, you have to. So, guys, I. It is now what, day three of doing this now? And my room has gotten to the messy state. So, I've been making a pattern this morning. This one, basically. There's another bit that goes here. Here it is. And I've been trying to work out how I want to do the top. I decided I'm going to do a one shoulder strap top. And I used newspaper as like material um, and just practiced it. And it works very well. I know I thought I could get away with not doing darts, but I think I need to do darts on the side. Um, and then I don't need to dart the front because I've put in shape in the construction. And while I've been doing that. I've also been sticking down the sticking down the lights with glue as you can see because I can be bothered to sew and I think it's yeah it's drying now. stuff that hasn't really been shaped properly and like I've extended some parts just to make sure that like you know it's always better just to be too big than too small so things are like a lot longer and stuff but I put in the bone in and I think I like it with the bone in and yeah and this is the gown like the actual gown so far so I've ran up materials I need to go to town to get more like I said before but this is all I could do with all the material that I had. Again, we have the slits in the leg, and we've got all this satin. I'm just filming it for my YouTube channel. Just a little update. Oh. Do you want to be in it? No. Okay. <laughs> my friend Cece was helping me. <laughs> Oh, my sound can, can be in it. In your what? Mm -hmm. You're sewing? 